Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my May wrap up. So in the month of May, I had an absolutely fantastic reading month. I read a total of five books, which I haven't done in like six or seven months. It's crazy. Even though I had like a crazy busy schedule, I had finals and then I had a lot of graduations to go to. Somehow I managed to read five books. So it was an absolutely fantastic reading month and I'm excited to show you guys what books I read because I pretty much enjoyed every single one of them. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and get started. So the first book I read in the month of May was sent to me for review by the publisher. So thank you so much to Bethany House Publishing for sending me this book. And that book is Invitation by Bill Myers, Frank Faridi, I'm so sorry if I butchered that name, Angela Hunt, and Alton Gansky. This is a mystery thriller novel that follows uh, four main characters and is told from all of their points of views. It's a set of uh, short stories. It's kind of like a novella type of situation. And they are kind of like a superhero kind of group. They all go on different missions together to solve different crimes. And there's, like I said, there's four short stories uh, told from different perspectives of the characters. I ended up giving this a three out of five stars. Uh, overall, I enjoyed it. I, it was a little hard to get into with the first two short stories, but the second and the, uh, the third and the fourth, excuse me, were really, really, really good. So that's what I thought of this book. And this is a first book in like a 15 book series or something like that. I'm not sure if I'll continue on as of right now, but uh, I did somewhat enjoy this first book. The second book I have here that I read in May has been on my TBR since I read the first book in the series back in February and now I'm just getting to it and this book is The Son of Neptune which is book two in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. I read the first book in the series which was called The Lost Hero back in February and I really enjoyed this book, that book and I also really enjoyed this book. This is a spin-off series to the Percy Jackson series which is a well-loved series here on booktube and pretty much the entire world uh, by Rick Riordan. It's the Percy Jackson series was uh, Greek mythology. This is following the Roman mythology, but you do get to see some of our favorite Percy Jackson characters come back in this series. And like I said, I don't want to spoil too much of the first book, but I d will say I really did enjoy that first book, and I also really enjoyed this book, and I am borrowing it from my cousin, so that's where there is duct tape all over it. And overall, I give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next three books I already read that I read are on ebooks. So the first book I read on ebook was sent to me for a review by the author. So thank you so much to him for sending me this. And that was Hey Doorman, uh, eight, the true tales of an uncommon bouncer in Los Angeles. So this is a nonfiction book that is told from the author's perspective. This is a true tale. And he was a bouncer who is someone that works at uh, bars and it's taking place in Los Angeles. It still tells all of his crazy stories. It's absolutely fantastic, absolutely hilarious. Highly, highly recommend it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was on audiobook and that was To Killing Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I actually read this back in high school, but that was almost five years ago, so I decided to read it again. I re I will say I enjoyed reading it more than I listened to the audiobook and that was mostly because of the narrator but I did still enjoy the story like I did the first time and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And the last book I read in the month of May was Sin Insider by Kay Reese. This was another book that was sent to me for a review by the publisher and I also did a blog tour for this book on my blog so I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. This is an adult contemporary fiction novel that follows our main, two main characters, Macintosh and Lawson. And Mac, uh, Macintosh, she moves from her small town in Tennessee to Chicago to study at school there and then she moves back six years later to back to her hometown in Tennessee and she had been friends with this guy named Lawson for years and years and years before she moved out to Chicago and when she comes back home she they're both all grown up and they form a romance and it's a very very good book it's a debut novel I ended up giving this a four out of five stars uh, trigger warnings, there is a lot of sex scenes, I will be honest, uh, and that's mainly the reason I give it a 4 out of 5 stars, but I really did enjoy it, and I highly recommend you guys go check it out. So that is everything I read in the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please give a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all the links to my t social media linked down below, so I have Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog. Those are all linked down below, as always, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!